what does the test results or the evaluation results tell us about the extent of recovery and the speed of recovery? Uh, generally speaking, that somewhat depends on more factors than the test results. But And we're also talking, when we say recovery, we're talking about various entities that do recover, right? So we're yes. talking about strokes. We're talking about head injuries and things along those lines. So we're talking about course of recovery or course of deterioration, and they could probably inform us in both ways. But generally speaking, the rule of thumb is that in more acute circumstances, like right after stroke or right after head injury, there's certain portions of the brain that are maximally damaged, but because it just happened, that area of the brain or those areas of the brain that are damaged are not the only brain areas that are dysfunctional. These damaged areas of the brain have connections with a number of other areas, and they have a tendency to pathologically inhibit healthy areas to which they're connected. The 25 cents word for that is called diascasis. So early on, you tend to see lots of things impaired on neuropsychological testing. As the person recovers, you begin to see a lot of healthy areas begin to return to normal. You also see the acute metabolic disturbances, the toxic problems in the brain that are much more present early on. Those begin to recover as well. So over time, the generalized cognitive picture begins to lessen and recede in the background. And the more we begin to see certain specific problems stand out, the more we begin to think, huh, there has been a fair amount of recovery already. So the more you see very specific things stand out against a background, areas that look fine, actually in some ways, it tells you there's been a fair amount of recovery. And the more that difference is, actually kind of say the worst of the prognosis, right? So that if all of a sudden, almost everything is well in the normal range, except for one or two factors, and they're down there, moderately impaired. You know what? The brain has pretty much recovered, and this doesn't look so good in the long run. So we can get a snapshot into the future by looking, I guess you can say, figure and ground of test results. And of course, we bring a lot of other information to bear upon that. We know the person's two years after injury. We, we don't have to just do it in isolation. And someone's had a stroke and they still have problems two years later. They may still have massive deficits. It may not be this figure ground sort of thing. But, you know, chronicity at that point, that's going to be bad too. But we can't necessarily tell 